What is a digital fabric and how does it relate to product development? Let's talk about that next. All right, let's talk about the digital fabric. Uh, this is a relatively new term um, and it kind of <coughs> builds on and extends the concept of the digital thread. But just uh, so we have all the right context, we're gonna recap an earlier video where we talked about the digital twin and the digital thread. The concept behind a digital twin is that it is this comprehensive digital definition of your product and it spans all engineering domains. And in reality, everybody's doing this today. It's just, they just may not be aware of it, right? So if you're developing electronic hardware and electrical distribution systems and software, uh, you're doing that today. You're just probably doing it in a lot of different silos. This extends to the idea of a digital thread, right? So for each of these design deliverables, you're gonna have a set of derived deliverables that specify how it needs to be manufactured, uh, how you check it for quality, how you're gonna service and maintain it. And each, each design deliverable in every engineering domain has a digital thread like this. There's a set of derived deliverables that specify how it's gonna be made and serviced and checked uh, throughout the rest of the development process. Okay, so what is digital fabric? Um, actually, this idea builds on the concept of the digital thread. Um, it's the idea that you have design deliverables that are interconnected across domains and as you have change, you need to manage the change across domains as well. So you have this interconnected mesh and let's, let's walk through exactly what that looks like. So every product development effort has a number of design deliverables that are gonna be created according to a schedule, right? Um, and each of those will change over time, right? So they're each gonna be progressing in a different rate uh, each of them will become more mature over time. Now, the trick here is, is that some of these changes are interconnected. So for example, an aesthetic surface that defines the outer look and feel of the product uh, might affect many different components, many different plastic components. So that's a change you need to propagate across uh, domains industrial design and mechanical design. Uh, another one might be that the logic of uh, a circuit board, as a change is made there, well, it affects the signals and the protocols that you might be using in an electrical distribution system, cabling and harnesses. Um, of course, it might go the other way as well. Um, you might have a change where the housing for a circuit board is changed and you need to be able to make sure that the board still fits. And of course, there's all sorts of other changes as well. You change the top level assembly, it's going to affect how cables and wires are routed through the mechanical product at the highest level. Uh, also, if you take a look at the circuit board, if you make a change there, it might affect how you're architecting your software. And these types of changes can be bigger and broader. A, a change at the top level uh, at the mechanical assembly might affect an enclosure, which affects the circuit board, which affects the software, right? So there's all these changes that go across domains. Um, and it's critically important that these are communicated clearly and unambiguously. All right, so let's be super clear. Everybody has a digital twin, a digital thread, and a digital fabric today, okay? these. These deliverables exist. You have change that will affect other deliverables today. I mean, that, that's just reality. The question is, how effectively are you doing that today? Um, if you use three or four different enterprise systems, one to manage mechanical design, one to manage circuit boards and electronics, another one to manage electrical distribution systems, another one to manage software, it can be difficult to propagate change across those systems. You're gonna catch those issues sooner or later, 
Let, let's be frank. It's not like it's going to get to the customer and, hey, what's going on? No, you're just going to pay the price in prototyping and testing. That's where all this comes to a head. When you try to integrate all these different things together, they're supposed to work when you prototype it and you start testing it and suddenly, oh, we're having a fault. Oh, the software isn't running because of uh, an incompatibility. The circuit board won't fit into the enclosure. You resolve it, but it's at what cost are you resolving it? If you're resolving those issues in prototyping and testing, you're gonna run into significant hard costs, additional hard costs that you could have saved. You're gonna be running into significant delays. So this affects both margin and it affects your ability to get to market or to deliver to a customer on time. So that's the reality. Everybody has a digital twin. Everybody has a digital thread. Everybody has a digital fabric. It's just how are you managing that today? And how effectively are you doing it? And that affects company top line and bottom line performance. So that's it. That's what the digital fabric is. Take care and talk soon.